All right, what's the most interesting thing in the media sphere that you see? Well, I would say generally the most interesting thing to me, I'll preface this by saying that I, what I care about is long form journalism, long form nonfiction uh, that's usually takes a long time to craft, it involves fact checking, it involves editing, it's not something that you throw up every day. So I'm, I'm excited about all the things happening in the media and I'm into all of them, but from, from, my, from my perspective, the interesting things are around the ways that it seems like that is able to continue in digital mediums and that wasn't true, that hasn't really been true so far, it's been kind of like opinion and news and all the things that you can do kind of cheaply that you can distribute, that you can put out to the crowd, I mean all that kind of stuff has really done well and is doing incredibly well but now I think you're starting to see signs that there are places where you can do narrative and you can do it in the digital realm or you can do it in the kind of anti-digital realm. So the two examples I give would be one, um, the wired iPad thing I think is really interesting because they're they're really, I mean it's okay, they're, they're trying to take the magazine and put it onto an iPad and they're trying to sell it, that's obviously what they're doing. <laughs> but the way that they're doing it is they're really crafting something that's specifically for a new medium and a new type of technology and that wasn't true before and so now you can also have writers and other creators like creating for that medium and thinking about what would this story be like if it appears there and as opposed to being scared that right. print is going away it's actually like creating new opportunities. Have you seen it? Have you have you been around the demo when they were I doing it? I haven't seen it in person I've only seen what most people have have seen, which is them. I mean, they do. They do have a demo on the tablet itself right. now, right. Um, and I, th I think it's impressive. I mean, they're they're obviously they're working closely with Adobe, so they have like a lot of right. advantage in doing that. But what's the second one? You said there were two. Oh, so the second one is more uh, promote an open project that I'm involved in, which is called Pop Up Magazine, mm -hmm. um, and that is it's basically anti digital. I mean, it's not opposed to it, but there's nothing digital about it. it's all entirely analog so it's a it's an event it's a live event it's a magazine that appears on stage for one night only so issue one had Michael Pollan talking about something that he had done it had documentary filmmakers showing a clip of their unused footage it had photographers talking about that work and had mediums mixed up so it's basically the same thing that happens on the web people mixing up mediums mashing things up except it happens live and what's been exciting about it it's been in San Francisco so far and there's just there's a nice core audience for something like that yeah you get people who get really excited about it they they want something with a lot of depth and that's very stimulating it's very uh, you know it's entertaining but it's also it's reported stuff and it's all nonfiction so what do you think about uh, what Eggers did with the newspaper in San Francisco did you see that the one time I did I have a copy of it yeah so do I yeah I, I think it's I think it's amazing I think as an example of what you can do with print mm -hmm. it's and design I mean that is yeah. a it's a story design and I'm not a huge design guy but that it's hard not to look at that and think, well, that would probably work. Yeah, and, and I wish that newspapers did this. I mean, I think on the economics of it, of course, I think a lot of writers, what caught our attention is sort of how much do these writers get paid to do it? Right, right. Because it's one thing if you can get a bunch of people to work for free or for not much money. Right. But apparently they, they did get paid. Right. You know, they got paid something. But I think it was more just to show the possibility. Right. And also to kind of put the lie to this discussion about print for versus digital. I mean, I can't believe people are even talking about this blogs versus right. news. Like, this is so... What's the point of that discussion right. and why is it still continuing? Right, we're having a discussion about a delivery mechanism. Like, nobody is like, uh, wires are wireless. You know, like, you're using a phone with wire? Like, it, it, it's, it's a ridiculous discussion, right? It's words and story. How it gets to you is kind of irrelevant. Yeah, I mean, from the reader's perspective, and, and of course, there are people like me, I read the New York Times in the paper version every day. Right. I, I, I hope they keep printing it forever. They probably won't. Right. I'll be the last person reading it. But also, I recognize that once it shifts, I can shift to having to read it somewhere else. It's not really about that. But I, you know, there's also a value to getting it every morning to me. Right. But 
But what if it's in that, uh, like the e paper? Not the not the e paper in the reader, but the actual paper that folds, like the you know, like that, that holds like a paper that looks like a paper that you could have that in every New York Times every day. It just shows up there. Yeah, I would I would do it. I, I think. The one question for me would be the difference is can I lose it? <laughs> right. Can I lose it and not be pissed off? Right. <laughs> when it gets to that point where I can leave it on the subway, right. then to me it's exactly the same. I could care less if it's digital or so when it's or a whatever. five cent uh, piece of paper technology. That yeah, you, you know, I misplace I misplace it and I, I like that kind of casual I leave magazines, I pick them up. Right. But you know, it's not really it's not one or the other, that's the thing. Right. Why does it have to be that you find a new model digitally and now, oh, well, the print one's right. dead. It's just lots of people want to read the print one. When right. all those people are dead, li actually dead, right. then there will be the digital one. Right. That is the argument that I make all When is it going to change? Like, when everybody my age and above is dead, be less of a problem. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I don't... I'm not one to complain about that. I mean, right. what I want is to be able to be lucky enough to actually tell stories in right. some medium that someone wants to read and they find, find right. interesting. So. That gets us, that's actually six minutes. So thank yep. you very much.